Well, as we've seen all winter, not all snow is created equal. Sometimes falling uh, in heavy, wet flakes like we saw this morning. Other times it's that dry, powdery type of snow. All comes down to, you guessed it, water. Our colleague meteorologist Jared Shelton has this week's WeatherWise. Snow to liquid ratios provide a measure of snowfall's water content by determining how many inches of snow is equal to one inch of rain. The average or baseline snow ratio is 10 to 1, with 10 inches of snow yielding about one inch of water. This value can vary greatly, ranging between 5 to 1 and 20 to 1. Low snow ratios make for wet snow, which often takes place when surface temperatures are within a few degrees of the freezing mark. Heavy wet snow, much like what we saw this past weekend, tends to be stickier, clumping together much easier, making for perfect snowballs. This adhesive quality also makes for mammoth-sized snowflakes, which can accumulate quickly, weighing down trees and even structures. High snow ratios yield dry, powdery snow, which occurs when temperatures are much colder. This type of snow is perfect for hitting the ski slopes, but can be problematic when combined with gusty winds, as the light granular flakes can quickly go airborne, reducing visibility and making for hazardous driving conditions. For News Press Now, I'm meteorologist Jared Shelton.